so. Okay, we're on. So your experience was different than most people's as far as rainbow. Yeah. Whereas most people think that rainbow is going to be filled with a lot of love and everything, I didn't experience that. It's more a lot of ag aggression, people not very happy, and people thinking I'm a noodle or a cop. You personally? Yeah, because I was clean. I went in there pretty clean, and people look at that as if you're clean, you're a cop, or you're a noodle, and that means you're not a serious rainbow family. You're a weekend warrior. So what, is that a place where you kind of got to earn your stripes or something? Pretty much, yeah. You got to know a lot of people. Got to get people to know you and be dirty enough to where people don't think you're a cop. Oh, so the people there are kind of like pretty rough? Uh, not really rough. They're just, I mean, everyone's paranoid of cops there because cops yeah, roll yeah. through there all the time and arrest people and they have undercover cops they've had cops that come with you know fake dreads on so they fit in and they're undercovers well you don't have dreads yeah i, I mean i just have long hair but it was just clean too clean for them i guess <laughs> so oh and but they had a lot of those people knew people that because they've been there many years and then they're tr looking for their own friends. Is it kind of clickish or something? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a family. That's the whole thing. You know, it's a family of hippies, it's, and a lot of most of them are, you know, have known each other for years. And I met some first timers that went in there and made friends instantly. They were accepted very easily, but for me, it wasn't so easy. Okay, so, um, so how do you get around that? Uh, well, I mean, you, how long were you there? Two weeks. Over two weeks, you never broke that? With some people I did, but there were still a few people that, like, in camps that I went to that were just, that would look at me weird the entire time I was there. So you were traveling around and meeting a lot of different people there, is that what people do? Sort of, yeah. I mean, you're, when your first year, you're supposed to bounce around and find your little, you know, whatever click or camp you click with the best. Well, maybe it'll be better next year. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going next year. There, that, this year didn't, isn't going to stop me from going again. It's just this year was... So you have faith in the place? Oh, yeah. I just need to find the right area to click in, the right people. And I made a lot of good friends there, ones that realized, you know, that I'm, I'm not a fucking cop. I'm not an Google. I'm just clean. And I've been on the road only for a few months, so I may not look like everyone else. Oh, and the other, the other, are there a lot of other people there that travel a lot? Oh, well, everyone there is pretty much a traveler. There's, I mean, there's quite a few, a couple thousand probably that are just... Weekend warriors, they have jobs and they travel every summer, they travel every couple months, especially for Rainbow, they'll go to Rainbow after, you know, getting off their job at Thursday and go on a Friday and Saturday and a Sunday and or go on the main so, week. So, right now you've been traveling for five months, right? Well, yeah, well, four months, I think. I've been traveling since four. May. So, at when, the time you went to Rainbow, how long have you been traveling? Uh, two months. So they really thought you were a newbie and that you probably wouldn't stick with traveling. Yeah, they thought I was, I was just doing it for, you know, the experience or the stories or just basically what all the other weekend warriors do it for. They don't do it because they actually like it. They do it because, you know, it seems cool. And they have a job on the side and they stick with it and they, yeah, they come do, they out once back. a year and stay for a couple of weeks. And yeah. But you're more or less going to go all year round, aren't you? For a while, anyway. Yeah, pretty much all my life. I mean, I met one kid who, or not kid, I met a old man. He was 60 years old of a red feather. He'd been hitching since he was like 20 something. He went to the very first <laughs> rainbow, which was 43 years ago. Yeah. So, I mean, if he can do it, I can do it. Yeah. This well, is the stone wall. That's good. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks.